Metal G or Scarab Jew, a red monster star on the edge. Scarab Jew, a red monster star, is a cosmic wonder. On the off chance that you put it where the sun is, it would reach out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's colossal, it's entirely shaky, and it's going to detonate. Prepare for a vast calamity of never-before-seen scale. Betelgeuse, the red Goliath star on the edge of our cosmic system, is conveying terrifying messages through space. Cosmologists have tracked down something profoundly disturbing about this enormous object. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope, famous researcher Brian Cox has given an intense admonition. The question that continues to come up is, are we going to observe a cosmic explosion blast that will change the night sky for eternity? The riddle of Betelgeuse in the boundlessness of the universe. Stars are conceived, live, and die in astounding ways. As of late, one star has grabbed the eye and worry of both space experts and the general population. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, is unbelievably monstrous and old. Its unique rosy variety and shifting splendor have for quite some time been captivating. Yet ongoing occasions have increased interest in this grandiose Goliath. As we find out more about Betelgeuse, we are very nearly a potentially great event in its history. Yet, what could these changes in Betelgeuse mean? Are we seeing the start of an enormous display on an incomprehensibly tremendous scale? Betelgeuse's monstrous size and life cycle. Betelgeuse is a heavenly Goliath, roughly 1,000 times bigger than our sun. Its size is nearly beyond human comprehension. Imagine a star so tremendous that if it supplanted our sun, its surface would reach out past Mars' orbit, wrapping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. This epic size not only shows the actual loftiness of Betelgeuse, but also shows its stage in the heavenly life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is approaching an incredible finish, expanding and cooling after depleting the hydrogen in its center and fusing helium. The age and development of Betelgeuse. What about Betelgeuse's age? This star is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years old. While relatively youthful in human terms, it is ancient in cosmic terms. Over millions of years, Betelgeuse has undergone dramatic changes, evolving from a hot blue star to the red monster we see today. It is now in its final stage as a red supergiant. Stars like Betelgeuse change throughout their lives due to the ongoing tensions of atomic fusion and gravity. Another characteristic that makes the phase of Betelgeuse stand out is its unique rosy color. Its red hue emerges from its cooler surface temperature compared with different stars, like our sun. For instance, the sun's surface is around 5,500 Kelvin, while Betelgeuse's surface is around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light at frequencies that make it appear red. However, this color is more than just an appearance. It reveals information about the star's physical state and the processes happening inside its immense gaseous volume. The fact that Betelgeuse's color has changed over time adds to its mystery. Historical records from Roman and Chinese periods show that Betelgeuse was yellow about 2,000 years ago. By the 9th century, Arabic astronomers noted its red color. This change over the course of human history is not just a historical commentary. It reflects the star's development. The dramatic dimming event. One more intriguing aspect of Betelgeuse is its changing brilliance. It is a semi-regular variable star, meaning its brightness fluctuates intermittently. This cyclical dimming and brightening have fascinated scientists and stargazers for centuries. Normally, Betelgeuse goes through a 420-day cycle and a longer five-year cycle. As early as 1836, Sir John Herschel recorded these cycles. Native society narratives might go back even further. However, what truly makes Betelgeuse puzzling isn't just its brilliance changes, but their anomaly. Unlike many stars that shift in brightness regularly, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from this pattern, suggesting complex and less understood processes within its immense structure. Startling observations and recent developments. Recently, Astronomers and stargazers worldwide were stunned to notice a dramatic and unexpected change in Betelgeuse's appearance. This exceptional dimming has raised numerous questions and is now known as the Great Dimming. In late 2019, Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in the night sky and a prominent feature of the constellation Orion, 
began to dim mysteriously. The star was dimming so rapidly that it started losing its light at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day on average. By February 2020, it was at its faintest. The Dilemma and Observing Challenges Betelgeuse, which can typically be seen with the naked eye even in areas with significant light pollution, became much fainter, and even casual observers could see the difference. The challenge, however, complicates observing Betelgeuse's activities since light takes such a long time to reach us. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we are not seeing it as it is now but as it was in the past. For Betelgeuse, the light we see today left the star nearly 725 years ago. This delay makes predicting and monitoring rapid changes in its behavior challenging. Further examination by researchers. The Betelgeuse dimming event highlighted the difficulties of continuous sky observation and our limited understanding of the vast and mysterious realms of existence. Andrea Dupree, deputy head of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, and her team closely observed Betelgeuse's celestial display as part of a three-year study to track changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. They used the Hubble Space Telescope to observe the massive star. These observations provided new insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse works. Variable stars regularly expand and contract, causing changes in their brightness. Scientists were able to examine the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, warmed to some extent by the star's swirling convection cells. Due to Hubble's ability to detect ultraviolet light, further analysis of Hubble spectra taken at different times in 2019 and 2020 revealed the development speeds in Betelgeuse's upper atmosphere, the ejection of material, and its consequences. The spectra were predominantly composed of magnesium, indicating that material was moving from Betelgeuse's surface into its atmosphere at about 200,000 miles per hour. This hot, dense material ultimately traveled thousands of miles away from Betelgeuse, forming the dust cloud that dimmed the star during the three months of the event. Dupree and her team estimated that about twice as much material as expected was expelled from Betelgeuse's southern hemisphere. While all stars lose mass over time, Betelgeuse's mass loss was especially notable because it occurred at a much faster rate than the sun's. The implications of this event The quick mass loss sparked discussions about whether this event could signal an impending supernova explosion. Given the size of the mass ejection and the subsequent dimming, and being about 725 light-years from Earth, Betelgeuse adds to the interest. Any such explosion would be visible from Earth and offer a fascinating opportunity to observe a supernova up close. Hypotheses about Betelgeuse's future. Yet, the question remains, what does this dimming mean for Betelgeuse's future? Is it a sign of an upcoming supernova explosion? Or is it just a one-time event in the star's long and complex life? Several hypotheses have been proposed to explain this rapid transformation. One popular hypothesis suggests it was a precursor stage in the supernova explosion process, gaining momentum due to the belief that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. Another common hypothesis posits that dust, potentially from the star itself, was obscuring our view. It is known that Betelgeuse and other red supergiants shed material, which could accumulate into a dust cloud dense enough to block the star's light. A third hypothesis examined how changes in the star's photosphere the apparent outer layer, could influence its apparent brightness. Spectroscopic investigations. Spectroscopic investigations demonstrated that Betelgeuse's effective temperature dropped, suggesting that the star might be dimming due to a massive dark spot on its surface. The fact that Betelgeuse's temperature decreased by at least 170 Kelvin around the time of the dimming supported this idea, indicating significant changes on the star's surface. Eventually, the Hubble Space Telescope Humanity's Sentinel in Space, helped us understand what was happening with this strange event. Hubble's observations showed that the dimming of Betelgeuse was likely due to a large amount of hot matter being ejected into space. This material formed a dust cloud that obscured part of the star's surface, reducing the amount of light reaching Earth. The dust cloud was believed to consist of extremely hot plasma ejected from a massive convection cell on the star's surface. As this plasma traveled through Betelgeuse's hot atmosphere to cooler outer layers, it formed dust grains that created a cloud blocking light from about a quarter of the star's surface. The impact of the ejected material, Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic investigations, which began in January 2019, 
were crucial in deciphering the events leading up to Betelgeuse's dimming. These investigations detected dense, hot matter traveling through the star's atmosphere long before the dimming. Several ground-based telescopes also noticed the star's brightness decline in December 2019, with Hubble's observations confirming these findings and providing further insights into the ejected material. The discovery that Betelgeuse was losing material at a much quicker rate than previously thought led to the realization that this rapid mass loss could impact our understanding of stellar evolution, particularly in red supergiants. Comparisons with other supernovae It is important to understand that Betelgeuse is not the only star undergoing such dramatic changes. Other historic supernovae, such as SN1054 and SN1987A, have provided significant insights into how stars die and how new cosmic substances form. These past events have helped shape our understanding of stellar deaths and their impacts on the surrounding space. For example, SN1987A, which occurred in a neighboring galaxy, offered a close-up view of a supernova explosion and its aftermath. Such supernovae contribute to the cosmic cycle by dispersing heavy elements and influencing star formation potential. The Role of Red Supergiants in Cosmic Evolution If Betelgeuse eventually becomes a supernova, it would create a spectacular light show visible from Earth. The explosion would be brighter than the moon and could even be seen during the day. Such an event would provide a fascinating opportunity to study the final stages of a massive star's life, as well as the formation of cosmic structures and the distribution of heavy elements across the universe. Despite the dramatic nature of a supernova, the distance between Betelgeuse and Earth provides a cosmic safeguard, ensuring that such an explosion is unlikely to directly harm our planet. The insights gained from observing Betelgeuse's potential transformation will continue to advance our understanding of cosmic evolution and stellar phenomena. The importance of red supergiants. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are crucial to our understanding of cosmic evolution. These stars represent the final stages of a massive star's life cycle before it undergoes a supernova explosion. Their enormous size and relatively short lifespans make them ideal laboratories for studying the end phases of cosmic development. Red supergiants are significant in understanding how massive stars evolve and the processes leading to their explosive deaths. These stars have a profound impact on their surrounding environments. The energy they release in their final stages contributes to the synthesis of heavy elements, which are essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it. Nucleosynthesis and Heavy Element Formation The process of nucleosynthesis in red supergiants involves the fusion of lighter elements into heavier ones during their lifetimes. These stars fuse hydrogen into helium and later helium into carbon and oxygen. When the star reaches the end of its life, it attempts to fuse even heavier elements. This process results in the creation of elements like iron and nickel, which are then ejected into space during the supernova explosion. These heavy elements enrich the interstellar medium, contributing to the formation of new stars, planets, and even life. The study of red supergiants like Betelgeuse helps researchers understand the processes that produce these essential elements and their distribution throughout the universe. Implications for Astronomical Science The death of a red supergiant and its subsequent supernova explosion has significant implications for astronomy. When Betelgeuse eventually detonates, the heavy elements it has accumulated over its lifetime will be dispersed into the cosmos. This dispersal plays a key role in the chemical evolution of the universe. It affects the composition of new stars and planetary systems, as well as the potential for life. By studying these processes, Astronomers gain insights into the history of our universe and the conditions that led to the formation of planetary systems and habitable planets. Observational Methods for Supernova Research Understanding supernovae and their precursors involves a range of observational techniques. Telescopes observe different wavelengths of light, such as optical, ultraviolet, and X-ray. Optical, ultraviolet, and X-ray telescopes provide valuable data about these cosmic events. The James Webb Space Telescope, for example, has advanced our ability to observe distant and faint celestial objects, offering unprecedented details about the early stages of cosmic evolution and supernovae. Ground-based telescopes also play a crucial role, providing continuous monitoring and contributing to our understanding of variable stars and supernovae's influence on star-forming regions. The Impact of a Red Supergiant's Explosion 
the explosion of a red supergiant like Betelgeuse has profound effects on its surrounding star-forming regions. The shock waves from a supernova can trigger the formation of new stars by compressing nearby gas and dust. This process, known as triggered star formation, can lead to the creation of new cosmic systems in the aftermath of a supernova explosion. The interaction between the shock wave and the interstellar medium also contributes to the dynamics of the cosmic environment, impacting the distribution of matter and energy throughout the universe. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star located in the constellation Orion, is one of the most fascinating objects in our night sky. This colossal star, approximately 1,000 times larger than our sun, has captivated astronomers and stargazers alike due to its sheer size and dramatic variability. If Betelgeuse were placed in our solar system, its outer surface would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter, engulfing the inner planets, including Earth. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the final stages of its stellar evolution. It has expanded and cooled after exhausting the hydrogen in its core, leading to its current reddish appearance. Its cooler surface temperature, around 3,500 Kelvin, contrasts sharply with the sun's 5,500 Kelvin, which contributes to its distinctive red hue. The star's size and luminosity are a result of the complex processes happening inside it, including the fusion of helium and other heavier elements as it nears the end of its life. Betelgeuse's age is estimated to be between 8 and 8.5 million years. While this might seem young in human terms, it is relatively ancient in cosmic terms. Over its lifetime, Betelgeuse has undergone significant changes, evolving from a hot, blue star to its current red supergiant phase. The star's color has also shifted over time. Historical records from Roman and Chinese periods suggest that Betelgeuse was once yellow before transitioning to its current red hue. One of the most intriguing aspects of Betelgeuse is its variability. The star is known as a semi-regular variable, meaning its brightness fluctuates on a cyclical basis. Normally, Betelgeuse follows a 420-day cycle with longer variations every five years. However, recent observations revealed an unusual and dramatic dimming event, known as the Great Dimming. Beginning in late 2019, Betelgeuse's brightness declined rapidly, losing light at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day. By early 2020, it had become significantly fainter.